if you want a flawless wig, you came to the right place. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about Jesus, beauty, and lifestyle. Today, we are talking a little bit about beauty. As you can see, I got my wig on and I'm rocking it and I'm rocking it and I'm rocking it. First things first, where did I get this wig? Let's get into it. I ordered this wig from AliExpress from a store called Hot Star. I chose Hot Star because I have a wig from them already and I really like that one. There are a bunch of other AliExpress stores that are absolutely amazing to shop from. So while I love Hot Star, you may like something else. I've heard a lot of good things about stores like Ali Grace, Ali Pearl, and so many other AliExpress stores. Do your research before you buy your hair from AliExpress. Additionally, when you're buying hair from AliExpress, you want to make sure that the wig that you're ordering or the bundles you're ordering, whatever you are ordering, you want to make sure that it has a lot of reviews. This hair that I am currently wearing had 710 orders and 362 reviews. I would suggest that if the hair has over 500 orders, you're in the good zone, you know? If it only has like 20 orders, you may not want to playing hair roulette you're playing weave roulette at that point okay so let's just get into the details of the hair this is brazilian body wave human hair it's a 13 by 4 lace front and it is pre-plugged guess how many inches it is guess how many inches it is 24 get into it get into it 24. no usually i do not get 24 inches of hair the longer the hair is the more expensive it is so I was able to get 24 inches of hair because guess how much this hair costs y'all? This hair was right at $149. Now some of you are watching this like, oh child, that's too much. That's okay. I wanted to go, I wanted to go a little. I personally wanted a lot of inches. However, if you don't need 24, you can definitely go for like 16, 18 inches and save like, you know, 20, 30, 40 bucks. If you get a 13 by six lace front, that's going to increase the price. Like I said, this was 13 by four. And if you're like, oh my gosh, what's 13 by four? 13 inches this way, four inches going that way, y'all. So it's definitely from ear to ear and about like that much parting space. I thought $150 was a great price, so I jumped on it, bought the wig, and here I am. Something that differentiates this video from all the other wig videos you've seen is that I do not wear wig caps i don't really like them i think it requires way too much work around the, your edges and i get super itchy around my edges so if i put way too much stuff on there if i cake it up with glue and stuff i'm just not feeling it also we're at home right now we're in covid i don't feel like there's a reason to spend more than i need to when you buy a wig cap that means you have to buy a lot of glue and so on and so on because you're going to have to continue to redo that wig cap, right? Because if you lay it on once, most likely, my guess is that it's gonna last for no longer than a week. It's probably gonna last for like three, four days. Maybe even less than that. I personally don't mind just taking my wig off every night, especially again, since I'm at home, there's nothing special going on. It's really not hard to please me. Nah, I'm just chilling. You know, whatever works, works. And if you can save time and money, then you want to save time and money. That being said, you only need about four things to accomplish a wig this cute. Let's get into it. The most important thing you're gonna need is some got to be glue. Now, if you're familiar with got to be glue, then you know there are two types. There's the black one and there's the yellow one. The yellow one is usually a bit more stronger, but because it's white, it also tends to flake. This one actually comes out clear, and so I prefer this one. Again, I don't feel like I need a super strong glue to accomplish a really nice look, but it is your preference. However, you will need some glue. The second thing that you need is some scissors. You're going to have to cut your lace. There are different videos of people saying like, you wanna cut your lace like in a jaggedy line. From my experience, I've noticed the lace work either way, whether you cut it jagged or straight, this one is a little more straight cut. So again, that's your preference. I would do some research on how to cut your lace. The third thing that you're gonna need is some heat. Hello. Why Raven, why do I need heat? Because sis, you want this wig to lay flat. I recommend a wand. 
why do I recommend a wand versus like versus a normal curling iron or a straightener? I recommend a wand because you can easily just lay it on top of your hair and make it flat. Also, a very popular wig is body wave, right? So this is two in one, sis. It's gonna lay the top of your hair super easy. Then as soon as you're done laying the top of your hair and getting it flat, go on down here and accomplish this wet and wavy look. However, the priority is to save that money. So if you have a curling iron and you don't have a wand and you're not trying to go spend 20 bucks to buy a wand, use your curling iron, sis. Anybody judging you? I'm clapping for you. Save that money, save that bread. Or if you have a straightener and you know how to curl your hair really well with the straightener, again, save that money and use that straightener. Okay, ladies, the last thing you're gonna need for your wig is some color. Hear me out. I know nothing really about makeup and foundation. I think my skin is super sensitive. I don't like the cakey feeling. This is like my most non-essential step when it comes to my wig. I've actually often worn my wig without putting any color at all. I guess because the lace usually tends to match my skin tone. However, I have known it to blend much easier, you know, when I just throw a little bit of color on there. You don't have to use liquid color. You can use powder. Use your foundation. Use the foundation that's best for you. It's CoverGirl True Blend. Concealer? Oh, is this concealer? So you can use concealer or you <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I don't know. All right, now that y'all know the four things you need to accomplish this super cute wig look, let's get into the video of how I applied it. Oh my gosh, I lied to you. I'm not ready yet. There are a couple of other tools I should mention that I personally use that are not necessary, but helps facilitate the process. You, if you, if you feel me, you feel me. This little bottle of spray is like a simple hydration for the wig. If you already have some type of conditioner or spray conditioner, you can use that to take care of your wig. But I went and got this from the hair store today and I was mad because it was $7.99. Y'all, I'm, I'm, mm -mm. It's been all right so far, it smells good. Clips definitely come in handy when you are styling your wig. You are gonna want like a brush or something that, whatever you use to do your edges, do your edges with. Here's what I use, you know. Sometimes when I'm done making the wig super flat or something, you'll notice little hairs start to stand up. And ain't nobody out here trying to look like alfalfa. So I usually throw on a little bit of edge wax, like a tiny bit, y'all, a tiny bit. Put it on my hands and I'll just like swoop, swoop everything that's sticking up down. Now let's go watch me apply this wig. So currently I'm creating some parting space and by doing this, it'll just make the wig look a lot more natural. I got the wig stand off of Amazon and actually the brand was really trash. Do not get the brand that's called like leave-in. But yeah, make some parting space so that your wig can look natural. Here I am cutting the lace um, and I'm kind of like tracing my ear and it's totally fine to cut a little bit of the hair off. Actually, you're probably going to need to cut a little bit of the hair off so that your ear can sit comfortably. Okay, so when you cut your lace, do not think that it's one and done. Once you cut all of the lace across, you usually always have to go back and make sure that it's cut properly like a second time. So I guess you could think of it as um, a rough draft. The first cut is like a rough draft. And then after that, you're definitely going to have to cut a couple of more places, which is really it's totally normal, especially if you're doing your hair by yourself at home. You guys saw me put some mousse on my hair. The strands were just getting in the way, so it's definitely helpful to have some mousse or something close by or even those clips um, that you'll see later just to make sure that your hair is out of the way and you know, you're able to cut and stuff easily. I legit get my wig put glue like just about like right there today today i'm gonna go all the way around but a lot of times y'all i just put glue right there i put a little color right there i'm good
Okay, so if you choose to make some edges like this, you want to make sure you're not cutting straight across with the scissors, but you're kind of, you know, I guess razoring the hair off. That way it doesn't look super fake. <laughs> And that's how I do it guys, super simple, no wig cap, you can do it too. My guess is that this will go last for a couple days, maybe three, mm, maybe. But again, I don't really care too much. I work from home, I'm chilling. I just want it to definitely look natural when I go out. And I think I've accomplished that with this little, uh, this little method. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions. Until next time.